Welcome back. Suresh Kalmari has been arrested by CBI for irregularities in Commonwealth Game Corruption case. Kalmari has been arrested under Sections 120B and 420 for criminal conspiracy and cheating in Commonwealth Games time scoring equipment scam. Sources said that the CBI has also got crucial leads in the time scoring equipment scam against Kalmadi. According to sources, CBI has got the video recordings of an organizing committee meet in New Delhi. In this meeting, Kalmadi and his associate VK Verma announced the awarding of time scoring equipment contract to a Swiss company. The CBI has already summoned India representatives of Swiss Omega Gem International on Tuesday. They are also likely to be arrested. Kalmadi was questioned for the third time on Monday by the CBI over alleged irregularities in conduct of Queen's Baton Relay held in London in 2009. A two-member CBI team returned from London after carrying out extensive investigation in the Queen's Baton Relay scam. Kalmadi was sacked as Commonwealth Games Organising Committee Chairman following allegations of his involvement in Commonwealth Games corruption cases on January 24, 2011. Till now, seven people, including Kalmadi, have been arrested in connection with the Commonwealth Im scam. Bureau report, Prudent Media. Two new foreign motorcycles were launched in Goa on Saturday. The official outlet of these bikes is Car Motors from Vasco, where they will be available on display and sale. The GT 650R is priced at Rs. 4,90,000 and ST 7R is priced at Rs. 5,69,000 at showroom. CM Digambar Kamat said at the launch that these bikes will be best in hands of expert riders. Hyosung is a South Korean brand. It comes from the same land as Hyundai. But Hyosung is not an unknown name to Indians. Few years back, they had entered India tying up with Kinetic. The joint venture failed then, but this time around, Hyosung has entered India with a tie-up with Garware. Garware has its roots in automobiles but have become a household name with polyesters and plastics since World War II. Dia Garware Ibanez, now the MD of Garware Motors Limited, informed press persons on the homologation process of the bike. They are the only one that uh, in India today in this segment, there is no one else in this 650 and 700 range in the, in the whole country. These bikes have gone through ARAI homologation where noise, braking tests, radiant tests, everything has been done to them. They have been certified by the ARAI out of Pune, just like the cars. Do you think the roads of Goa are fit for this type of biking? I think that the time has come for the in young Indians and all Indians to have the opportunity to have things, what is uh, in a, a luxury items which are available in the rest of the world. The GT 650R is an outright sports bike that churns out 79 HP and 66.88 Nm of torque. The V-twin engine is displaced at 647 cc. The GT 650R is priced at rupees 4 lakh 90 thousand ex showroom. The ST7R is the other offering from Hyosung that has a higher displacement of 678cc in a more relaxed state of tune owing to its cruiser image. The ST7R produces 60 bhp and 63 nm of torque. The cruiser is priced at Rs 5,69,000 ex showroom. Only people who are experts can drive this bike. Tom, Dick and Harry cannot drive this bike. So I think whoever drives this bike will will drive with the utmost care because it is uh, you have to be an expert to drive this bike. Our reporter from Vasco, Surendra Markaikar. Movin Gudino boys won Manda and Narayan Bandekar All India T20 Trophy. Movin Gudino boys defeated Ali boys of Kolhapur in the finals by 21 runs. The winners walked away with a cash prize of 50,000 rupees. The tournament was sponsored by NRB and organized by Vasco boys at Chikli. Batting first, Mauvin Gudino boys of New Wade stacked up a massive total of 189 for 6 in 20 overs. Devidas Kolkar was the backbone of Mauvin Gudino boys with 94. Krishna Wulwekar scored 44 and was the next top scorer, while Sanjay Dabulkar scored 23 runs for the Goa based side. For Ali boys, Jayan Tambulkar and Sagar Kore took a wicket each. There were four run outs in Mauvin Gudino's batting innings. In reply, Ali Boys of Kolhapur managed to score 168. Uday Patel top scored with 61. 
Sagar Kore scored 26 and completed a good all-round performance. Abhijit Talikar was the most successful bowler, claiming four crucial wickets. Muzamil Sheikh and Krishna Woolwekar took two wickets each. Krishna Woolwekar was awarded the Man of the Match and Man of the Tournament award for his all-round performance. At the prize distribution ceremony, budding Vasco cricketers were felicitated. If you look at the standards, I see the standards only going up. There is The day is not far off when our people will play in all versions of the game. We want goals to play, whether in test cricket, whether in 50 overs, whether in the T20. And when will this happen? When you have the backing of the public, when you have the backing of the youth. A reporter from Vasco, Surendra Markaikar. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Take care and keep watching Prudent Media. Goodbye. Thank you.